Hi, um, today I'm going to be answering uh, some of your questions that we've received concerning uh, Dorina's beautiful too cozy blanket. So the first question is, how do you begin? Now with interlock and crochet, you need to begin with two foundation chains, one in each of your colors. Uh, which color is which is given in the pattern. And the pattern also tells you how many chain stitches to start with. Now your color A, which is your cream color, which you'll carry up throughout the blanket, um, starts a bit differently from most uh, crochet projects. It uses a long tail foundation chain um, to start. And we've put together a tutorial um, on the blog, uh, which can show you step by step how to do the long tail uh, foundation chain. You're going to do 241 long tail foundation chain stitches and you're going to chain normally this is a perfectly normal chain for your color b and you will chain 239 stitches we do recommend that every 10 chain stitches you place a stitch marker this is only to help you keep track of your stitch count as you go up and then at the end place your last loop onto a chain stitch and then you're ready to start your uh, row a I find it helpful to also stick a stitch marker in your 239th chain stitch in your color A and your 237th chain stitch in your color B. These numbers are in the pattern, uh, so just read through the pattern notes carefully for, um, for the exact numbers when you come to do your blanket. So the next question we have is about how to actually read the row instructions. Now each row is given with an A row and a B row and you need to do both of those rows working from right to left for each row. So each row consists of two parts, an A row which you'll do in your colour A and a B row which you'll do in your colour B. And the instructions will say for colour A at the beginning whether you should have your color B yarn in front or in back and that just means simply flip your ball to either the front of your work or the back of your work depending on what the instruction is and then in brackets you will find the actual stitch instructions for your row so if for example it says back front times 60 then that means you need to do a front double crochet chain one back double crochet, chain one, front double crochet, and you repeat that 60 times, and that will take you to the end of your row. With your B uh, color, it doesn't tell you which side to leave the yarn because that's the yarn that you've left. If it says that your first stitch is a front stitch, you will notice that it already is on the front and your chain four counts as that front stitch. Then your next stitch is the second stitch given in the pattern. So a back stitch, for example. So you would chain four, that would be at the front if your yarn is at the front. Then your next stitch would be a back stitch if that's what the pattern is telling you to do. So the chain four is given as the first stitch in your B row, but the chain four in your A row, you need to do first, and then you can continue following the pattern as it's written. So the next question we have is, uh, which stitches count as an edge stitch and which don't? So the first stitch of your A row, the chain four, this is going to be an edge stitch and it's never given in the pattern instructions itself. The pattern notes say to do it and then you are just assumed to do it each time. So this does not count as part of your 120 stitches in the row. For your, um, your B color, it does count because it matters whether it's at the front or the back. And so that is given and counts towards your 120 stitches. The long tail foundation chain stitch um, is a special technique for starting your foundation chain and it creates a nice stretchy chain and has really nice clear stitches that you can work into. Uh, we've put a tutorial that shows you step by step how to do this um, in our interlocking tutorial on the blog. So to get a good close up uh, step by step guide to how to do that, go check out the blog.
So the multiples given at the end of uh, each row just tells you how many times to repeat the stitches within the brackets. So if, for example, you have front, comma, back times 60, that just means repeat front, back, front, back, 60 times to the end of your row. In some rows, you are only going to be working from the back side of your work into your uh, stitches. And so what you'll find is it will say back times 120. That just means work 120 back double crochets all the way across to the end of your row. It's as simple as that. We hope we've answered all your questions. If you have any more, please feel free to reach out to our customer service. They're always happy to help you. And we hope you have a great time crocheting this beautiful blanket.